Guys, welcome back to a super exciting video. Over the last couple of days, actually yesterday, I was having quite a bit of trouble getting my Hawa 6.5 Creed zeroed up. Something's weird there, I Cerakoted it, I had it recrowned there, so we're gonna figure that out, but we kind of ran out of time to do that. So today, I'm shooting my 223 Remington in a long range match. So pretty much, we're gonna see if a 223 Remington is a viable long range caliber. Now, as I said that, the wind came up. So that's gonna make it very interesting. We've got, I think, close to 60 shooters behind us here for a little wrong, long range match. Um, our first target's at about 400 yards, going out all the way to just past 700 yards. The targets are not big, so it'll be interesting. We've got crazy calibers, big 300s, we've um, got seven Psalms, and my 223 Remington. So it should be fun. Let's get this show started, shall we? Kun je zien waar je geland het schaal? Ja, een beetje lang, een beetje laag. Lang en af te van die plaat. Ah, schiet ik rechts af. Okay, right. Uh, okay, so we're shooting a little bit quicker. What happened was is the farmer... Are you, are you rolling? Yes, sir. Okay, so we have to shoot a little bit quicker because the farmer next door has graciously given us till two o'clock to wrap the show up. So this is turning into a speed shoot. Yeah. I'm gonna do point five. Vent. Yes. Yes, What's the distance? Five thirty. Okay. Six sixty. Three point seven. Oh, ha, lol. I was a, I was a mullo. Because I dialed the mill too little. Off the left, no wind. 5.4. Yeah, I saw it. Impact. Well, I just got a one, <laughs> one out of four. So missed on win on the first one, or missed no dial on the first one. Yeah. Well, not no dial, just wrong dial. Impact center. Yeah. Impact. Right edge. Woo! Okay, so I made a little mental error, didn't dial enough, dropped the mull off the thing, missed it, also couldn't really get a wind call. Next shot, missed on wind, missed the back on wind, and then hit at the back. On a relatively small plate with a very small caliber, it's 662 meters, so happy, but yeah, just 
sort of all the bits and pieces that go into running a match and having to deal with the other farmer now. Uh, let's focus. Okay, so that was pretty much the worst case scenario when it comes to organizing a shoot. What ended up happening was the farmer across the road didn't give us the time we needed to finish the shoot. They pretty much immediately started harvesting, which I get. I mean, if you plan to harvest and they, the farmer where we organize everything on didn't give him a heads up. So I get that the guy needs to harvest, but we ended up having to cancel the shoot which really sucked so once again apologies to everybody that came out um, I have made connections with the new farmer and that won't happen again so we'll be on the same page when it comes to that anyway we have three stages left to shoot I'm gonna shoot without my spotter skulk I have cleaned the rifle since we shot it this is now the Thursday after the match sort of similar conditions similar type of day I wanted to come out to sort of tie a knot on this video and just sort of finish out what we started so I've got everything set up behind me so the first targets 548 meters and then we've got 560 something so without further ado I'm gonna jump on the 223 and uh, put four rounds down range okay so I'm gonna have to dial 3.9 I'm probably gonna add another click because I remember correctly I was shooting a little bit low and my wind is saying three point my wind is saying 7.7 .7. so let's do that make sure we're level here oh can't see it I think it was off the right and add more wind sort of split 0 0.7 and 0 0.9 Okay, impact. Right, so next distance, 561 if I recall. So that's another two clicks. Boom, boom. Oops, accidentally added three. I'm gonna have to adjust a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we can use our wind call. We're shooting in relatively the same direction and this should be light work. Low. That was very low. There we go. Okay. That's a wrap. We got a two out of four. Um, dial back. My dope was quite off there. I had to add. I ended up going with the higher hold 4.3. So that was, I mean, 4.5. So that was four clicks over what might suggest the dope was. I go back to zero. And let's move on over to the next stage, which is the green one. Okay, so for the next stage, the first target's at 331 meters. Very small little plate. But we shouldn't have to leave the plate at this distance. It's going to favor the left edge. The wind direction has changed a little bit, so that's always important to keep in mind. Okay. Right, okay, last stage of the day. Um, first target is at 411 meters, so that's 2.4. I uh, know we're shooting low, I'm gonna go, yeah, it's Kestrel saying 2.3 actually. One thing to realize, guys, you might see my Kestrel lying in the sun and go like, oh dude, your Kestrel's baking in the sun, it's gonna like destroy your solution. I lock the weather the whole time, so it's not baking in the sun and heating up, so that's something to consider if you're sort of out in the sun like we are today which is not always the best conditions to shoot in I'm dealing with a crap load of mirage okay what's our wind gonna be I'm gonna do 0.4 this is a tiny tiny little plate I thought when I built this match that I'd make the plates reasonably small okay see I'm running out of elevation here now it's nice about the sky part I can just come down click and we're gonna be Good to go now. All right. Whoa, it even looks small through the scope. This is a Razor 3 to 18, by the way. Okay, so wind, I'm gonna do 0.4. Not 
not quite sure what to do when you don't see trace like that just double check our dial what's the wind doing mm. I'm gonna hold a little bit more wind so like 0.6 Oh, I think I'm still off the right. It's so hard to tell. And then it was, what was our next distance? Let me just, I think it was 466 if memory serves. This is something I wouldn't do in a match. I'd go double check that, but uh, 2.9. Wow, guess that correct. I'm going to go three. Just because we have a little tendency to go low here. Now that's another tiny, tiny plate. And this is where a big seven mole would be such a welcome addition to the party now I have one but then we wouldn't be making this video would we okay I'm gonna do again based on our wind call at the top on the green stage because these targets are close to each other so I'm gonna do 0.7 again and see where that puts us two rounds to go I think I must left. I must upwind. I'm gonna take that click off. 5.5 wind hold. No! <laughs> and that's not really how I wanted to end it, but that is <laughs> that is what it is. Let's see if I can actually hit that. I've got one more round in my pocket and I've got no idea where that bullet's going but I, your guess is as good as mine and miss again I suck so guys, not really the video I wanted to make. Uh, I wanted to do like high production quality, the type of video you guys are used to getting from me, but that's kind of the way the cookie crumbled for us on this event. So I came out, I came back out, tried to get it done. Couple of advantages shooting the 223, super mild recoil. So if it's for a kitty or, or your wife and you want to get an entry level rifle, that's a really a caliber I would look at getting. Super fun to shoot. I can load it on my Dylan. Um, amazing, okay. Couple of disadvantages, obviously BC, ballistic coefficient. <laughs> There's not a lot of it. Um, I'm still shooting 80 grain projectiles, so it's a pretty good BC for the caliber, okay? Um, but when you're missing, you're not seeing a lot, and even when you're hitting the steel, you're not seeing a lot either. It doesn't take off much paint if it's still a freshly painted target, and it doesn't move the target much, actually. You know, if I'm shooting my, my 195 grain burgers out of my 7 mil at 3,000 feet per second, when that hits a plate at 600 meters and it's still doing, I don't know, I'm thumb sucking a number here, but still doing 2,300 feet per second, it's moving that plate significantly. So if you're slightly off to the side, you can see how that plate's reacting. And a lot of that information you can then use to go on to your next target or the next stage. So yeah, it was a fun video to make. I obviously know, as you know, that a 223 Remington is not the ultimate long range caliber, but yeah, I wanted to come out, make a fun little video for you guys. Sorry that the event didn't go as planned. To all those people who came out and did shoot the event, thank you very much. You guys handled it like champs. Uh, afterwards, we had a braai, and uh, it was still a good day out. So I thank you very much for that. Um, that's kind of it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do that down here. I want to give a massive shout out to our friends over at Modular Driven Technologies for sponsoring today's video. You guys rock. Rocking one of their new shirts today, by the way, again. And check out my reloading course down here or some of our older videos up here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful day and hopefully you shoot better than I did today. Cheers.